How's it going guys? Vabhav here from GN Tech and welcome to the second part of this camera comparison between the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra and the OnePlus 7T Pro. So I'm recording on the front facing cameras on both of these smartphones at 1080p resolution, currently at 30fps. Now let me switch over to 4K resolution on the S20 Ultra at 30fps. So this is now at 4K 30fps resolution on the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra whereas it's still 1080p resolution on the OnePlus 7T Pro. And lastly, the Galaxy S20 Ultra can also do 4K 60 FPS. So let me switch over to that too. And lastly, this is 4K 60 FPS resolution from the S20 Ultra compared to 1080p 30 FPS resolution on the OnePlus 7T Pro. But if you've missed the daytime camera comparison, do check it out by clicking the card on the right hand side of the video. But without further ado, Let's jump into the nighttime samples between both of these smartphones. Just to recap, these are the primary camera specifications of Samsung's Galaxy S20 Ultra and the OnePlus 7T Pro versus the selfie camera specification. We've switched over to this two-part style camera comparison as smartphone optics get more advanced because we feel like this gives us a better opportunity to compare the cameras more closely. Starting off, we'll look at some zoom samples. So these are the standard modes on both smartphones and following the same photos with night mode turned on. There doesn't seem to be a massive difference between these two samples aside from the slightly more visible noise on the 7T Pro and the S20 Ultra doing a better job bringing out the green in the tree. But this just shows how good the 7T Pro camera can be even at this price. Zooming in two times though, it's fairly clear that the advantage is with the S20 Ultra. More so, it can also use night mode when zoomed in, which is something the 7T Pro cannot do. Although at three times zoom, the S20 Ultra's sample struggles too, with fringing in the lights and with night mode, looks overexposed, although it is able to capture the much sharper image with more detail. These are samples at five times zoom, and here you can start to see the prowess of the S20 Ultra's camera, especially coupled with night mode. These are now samples at 10 times zoom, which is the maximum that you can go on the 7T Pro. And here both phones struggle, but the S20 Ultra just has that further ability to go up to 30 times and also 100 times, which is probably not extremely useful in these situations, but worth pointing out. Moving to another night sample, it's fairly clear that the S20 Ultra can capture more details, especially in the darker areas of the picture, if you look at the brown surfaces or the detailing on the ridges. With night mode, each photo has more detail compared to its previous one, but even so, the S20 Ultra's image is better able to nail minute detail like on the surface of the building, and the colors from it cooler, better depict the accuracy of this scene. These are photos taken without night mode, and let's zoom into these to get a better idea of how each phone captures them. It seems in this case, the 7T Pro is doing a better job at capturing photos, and this could be due to the S20 Ultra's pre-release software on board, which we're expecting to see an update from as the phone hits stores as this will improve nighttime performance. This is now the same image with night mode and quite clearly in this case the S20 Ultra's picture shows much greater detail compared to the softer sample from the 7T Pro. Next up we've got these to primarily test the ultra wide angle lenses during night time. This is the same image now with night mode and next we've transitioned over to the ultra wide samples. It's clear that in terms of both field of view and quality, the S20 Ultra's performance is better. And finally, we've got night mode activated on these samples. Both smartphones do a fairly good job here, but from the overall photo, the S20 Ultra's image has the better color balance. Even when taking a closer look, it seems that the level of detail retention on the S20 Ultra's camera is higher than that of the 7T Pro. Rounding on the scenery with this image now, where once again you see the S20 Ultra's better processing in the darker regions. This is the same image now with night mode, and notice how the S20 Ultra has kept the exposure levels balanced, especially towards the inside of the arch with the light, where the OnePlus 7T Pro looks slightly overexposed. I also thought I'd try out Samsung's 180 megapixel mode here, which does not have a night mode, and I think you'd pretty much want to stay clear from it during low light photos. In this one, we've moved to nighttime photos of me. This is with night mode and you can see how much better the S20 Ultra is in terms of quality and detail. This is a region where OnePlus definitely needs to work to stay competitive with high-end flagship. Similarly, this is using both phones portrait modes in an extremely challenging situation and the S20 Ultra's camera 
excels. Using the wide portrait, the OnePlus definitely improves, but it doesn't seem to bring about that portrait effect, which is better shown on the S20 Ultra. Moving to the front camera, the 70 Pro's naturally wide selfie has the better quality. For the S20 Ultra, you can toggle to a wider field of view and also use the 40 megapixel selfie mode, but where it beats out the 70 Pro is with its night mode. The quality difference is astonishing and it works with the wider selfie mode as well, producing some impressive results in the process. Unfortunately, there is no portrait night mode available and in this case, the 70 Pro selfies produce the better quality results when using portrait mode. For video, let's start with some 1080p samples at 30fps. The biggest difference is that the S20 Ultra has the better quality, but is also able to keep light jitter to a minimum, which is great to see. Both phones also allow you to film with the ultra wide angle lens, and in this case, videos have a fair bit of noise to them. But the S20 Ultra has the wider field of view, given its hardware, and it's also able to capture more detail in darker patches of the video. With higher frame rate 1080p 60fps footage, the stability from the S20 Ultra is highlighted further with slightly better quality footage too. Moving to 4K footage at 30fps, the quality improvement from the S20 Ultra is much higher. Once again, both phones can also do ultra wide angle 4K footage at 30fps, which quite clearly is better from the S20 Ultra, and we are looking forward to how the phone's upcoming software update might take things further, because at 4K 60fps, Footage is definitely sharper from the 70 Pro, suggesting some work is required to improve things further in this apartment. Finally, this is 8K footage from the S20 Ultra put up against 4K 30fps footage from the OnePlus 70 Pro, and while the quality and stability from the S20 Ultra needs tweaking, having this ability is great and we can only see it improve from here with software support. So that's about it for this comparison. Do check out the daytime camera comparison we've made earlier and don't forget to like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, this was Vapov and I'll see you in the next one. Adios.